Hello guys, welcome to Kirali Craft Auto Installer tutorial. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to use my auto installer as well as the dubstep installer. Uh, so first of all what you're going to do is uh, download both of them, the ones that are in the description of the video and um, just download them somewhere like I did here. Uh, I have already downloaded them. Um, but what you want to do is uh, please be patient when you gotta download them because uh, they are pretty big, especially the, do the dubstep installer. Um, anyway, um, so let's get started. First of all, uh, I'm gonna show you the multi installer. Uh, you first of all, what you gotta do, as it's written here in README, uh, you will have to extract this everything into one folder. I will extract it uh, here in the same folder. Yeah. Uh, then you gotta open that folder and find install.exe. Uh, then if you are on Windows Vista or Windows 7, you will have to run this as administrator. So you gotta right click install.exe and run as admin. Okay, uh, now this should pop up. Uh, this is actually uh, the installer itself. Uh, and it has three options, the node as Griffin client, the HD awesome texture pack, which is actually the faithful 32 texture pack, uh, the configuration for zombies mode and Maycross mode, um, these will only install if you haven't, if you hadn't had them before, uh, the default mode over here and the restore function. Uh, what, why is this restore function here? Because every time you install something, it will create a backup of it, as it says here. Uh, all mods currently applied to your Minecraft jar will be backup. Uh, and if you type here B, it will restore uh, the old backup and delete the one that you don't want. Uh, now it, it will close itself, it says press and keep to continue. And then what you're gonna do is just open it up again. This problem is tank for okay. You gotta open it up again. Uh, and for the dubstep installer, you will have you will have to install this thing with default mods. Uh, the not just Griffin client something separate. Uh, say so is the HD pack. Uh, so you're just gonna hit D for now and then press enter. Now it will install it. As you can see, it back up my original. Uh, file and it will also search if you had pre uh, previous versions of Zombies mod pack. Uh, I had them, so um, it, w it won't install them again. Uh, okay, now you're just gonna close this uh, and do the same thing for the other installer, Dubstep installer. Um, just gonna open this up and extract them just like you do with the other one. Okay, now you should go here and open it. Uh, and the same thing as in README, you have to extract the whole content. We did this. You navigate to that folder and find install.exe. Uh, in my case, uh, it's um, dubstep um, music install.exe and on Windows Vista 7 and Windows 8 Beta. I know it hasn't been released yet, but still, uh, you have to run as admin. Uh, just like you did with the other one uh, and this one will not create a backup of the files so you will use all the original song on the song unless you have a backup yourself I'm just gonna press uh, any key to continue it will prepare installation it installed all the tracks and um, now it will close itself uh, so let's test it out you just gotta open minecraft In. And now it works. All, all, all what you gotta do is open a server or a map or something like that or, and just test it out with the jukebox. I won't do it because this laptop I'm currently recording and it's not so powerful so it will lie like hell. Okay, so anyway, uh, this was it guys. Hope it helped, hope I helped you. And um... Say, look, and subscribe.